Good evening to all of you. We have a good number with us on this Wednesday evening. We're thankful that you are here. The opportunity that we have to assemble together and to study the Bible together. Appreciate all of our teachers in this last hour in teaching. And I'm thankful to Tristan Webster. He originally was scheduled for uh, this evening. And uh, I'm not going to be here next Wednesday. So he, uh, he was willing to swap with me. And I appreciate him in doing that. Matthew chapter 5 will be our lesson text this evening. Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. A familiar passage of scripture where Jesus said, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You're the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. I heard Ethan Hunt, I don't know if Ethan's with us tonight or not, but I heard Ethan uh, in a Bible class uh, using this text, and he said, just like a, a, um, a city set on a hill, uh, we cannot choose who we influence. Think about that. You're, you're influencing someone. Someone is watching you, whether you know it or not. We can just choose how we influence people. When you think about being a light and a light uh, for God, uh, I, I think about David's life. And David is one who in his early years, I mean, he had a, a strong light shining brightly um, as he was that young shepherd boy doing what is right, doing what was right at home. When he killed Goliath with, with this great faith, uh, that God would win the battle for him. Even in his older years when Saul was mistreating him and David had opportunity uh, to take vengeance out on his enemy, he, he did not. But unfortunately, later in time, as you know, David, David uh, it changed for him. And he, you know, it, it was not shining the way that it, it once did. His light was not. Think about how that can be the case with us. You can start out with your light shining brightly. But let's take, for example, maybe you decide, you say, you know what? Is church really important? Wednesday night, I, I know I had a long day at work. And uh, school was really hard. I have a lot of homework, I have exams and tests. And so I, I just don't know that I need to, to be there on a Wednesday night or maybe not even Sunday evening. So that light that was once shining brightly becomes a little dim. And so then you think about other areas and you think about how your light is still shining, but maybe, maybe there's that which you're watching or reading or listening to, and you say, this won't really affect me. I'm just, I'm listening to it. I'm watching it, but it's not going to change who I am, but whatever comes in eventually is going to go out. So then you start speaking words that you shouldn't, saying things that you should not, and going places where you should not go. And so then that light, it it becomes dim again, does it not? And one time where it was shining brightly and everyone could see you, now it's, it's looking different, is it not? And what about, you, you can consider other areas where it's, it's, it's easy to, to give up. Maybe, maybe at one time it was a strong Bible study habit, strong study uh, habits. Uh, maybe, maybe it was that of, of refusing uh, gossip or complaining. We talked about that tonight. But in time it just, it, it got to me. And that too is how I'm known now. And so the light is just out. And where one time, I was a shining light for God. But now, it's dimmed, or it's completely gone out. We're going to turn the lights back on, and Austin's going to sing this song for us. If your light is not shining brightly, you need to change tonight. If we can help you, please come as we stand and sing. 